Hey guys, my name is Lawrence Eckert. In this video, I wanted to review an application for the Mac called Clean My Mac 3 by developers named uh, MacPaw. Um, now, I was asked to review this um, maybe about a week ago, and today is June 18th. And I have been using it extensively over the course of the week just so that I can uh, have this review. And Right off the bat, I have to say that this is a really good application for speeding up and freeing up space on your Mac. Um, but now I'm just going to get into all the details about the app and everything so you guys can decide whether or not you'd like to buy it or not. Um, now, first off, there is a free download here. I'm just going to start off by saying this. But it only gives you one free scan and uh, one free cleanup, rather. So that means that uh, you can clean your Mac one time, but then you'd have to buy the license key for it. Um, but basically, I'm just going to uh, just read off this description right here, and then I'll just give you guys my opinion on the app. Um, now, the description here on their website says, Clean, optimize, and maintain your Mac with the all-new Clean My Mac 3. It scans every inch of your system, removes gigabytes of junk in just two clicks, and monitors the health of your Mac. Okay, so that's a pretty uh, uh, good description of how the application actually works. But for right now, I'm just going to close out my Safari window and just open up the app myself. Uh, my Mac. Okay. And you can see right off the bat that you get this beautiful interface, uh, one second, I'm sorry. Uh, you get this beautiful interface right here. Um, it has been designed from the ground up for OS X Yosemite, and I have to say it looks really, really beautiful. Um, now basically you get, these are all of your options right here for everything that's in the application. You can do a smart cleanup, which basically just scans your entire Mac computer for uh, old files and junk folders and everything like that and then it tells you how much space you can clean up if you uh, if you decide to so I'm just going to show you what it looks like right now um, you get this little uh, splash screen right here saying welcome to clean my Mac 3 keep your Mac clean and healthy and then once you click on clean here it'll start scanning your uh, your entire hard drive for old files that you haven't even opened in a while. It'll search for mail attachments, it'll search for iPhoto duplicates and junk. Um, it'll clean out your trash bin and it'll also look up uh, large and old files that you haven't used in a while. So right here you can see that it says that I can uh, free up 163.9 megabytes of space if I click this clean button. Um, so just something to know is that this actually doesn't automatically um, clean your hard drive right from the uh, the get go. You do have to click clean and then it'll clean it. But the first uh, the first uh, step is to see how much it'll free up and then you can decide from that point on. So then I'm just going to go click on clean. Then you get this beautiful interface again, and then you get um, a nice little chime when it's done, and then. Um, this is a little weird right here. You get the social buttons, so you can basically share with people like, oh, hey, um, I freed up 163.9 megabytes, but I don't see anybody ever using that feature because it's basically just, uh, I don't know, <laughs> it doesn't really benefit them, I guess, but it doesn't make sense to share that kind of information. Um, so yeah, basically you can clean up your system junk. Let me click on start over. And it says clean your system to achieve maximum performance and reclaim free space. Optimize your system, remove temporary files to free up space and smoothen your max performance. Slim application size, remove unused binaries and locali localizations without affecting app functional functionality. Sorry, <laughs> and then fixes various errors. Um, so that basically means that it gets rid of various broken items and leftovers that may result in wrong behavior on your Mac. Um, so that just means that it just removes files that are not like useful on your Mac. So that frees up a lot of space on your computer. 
Um, then the iPhone junk, it just basically cleans up your duplicate photos and um, photos that you haven't opened, I believe. Let me see. Uh, oh, it just shrinks the size of your library by, by removing hidden original versions of the image you've modified to your taste. Okay, so I'm not going to go through all of these things because I basically said it already. But um, you also get an uninstaller on your on this app. So that basically means that it finds every single um, file that came on your computer when you downloaded the app and it removes it. Because when you uninstall an application on your Mac using that um, the X on your, let me just show you right here, the X that shows up right here. Supposedly it does not remove all of the files that it came with, it just removes the application. It doesn't remove its, uh, its files. So what this does, what this uninstaller to tool does, is that it basically finds every single file that came with that application, and it um, groups them all together, and then it deletes them from your computer. So that means it's um, the perfect uninstaller tool, basically. So if I was to click on um, iMovie, you could see all of these, uh, all of these files that came with this app, and then if I was to click on this little checkbox and then click uninstall it would remove every single one of these files and it shows you the file size here and that's how much space you would uh, free up you also have a maintenance tool here which basically allows you to do all of these things right here you can uh, run maintenance scripts uh, I'm not gonna read all of these obviously <laughs> you guys can uh, pause it and just read this and see what what it does you can flush your DNS cache you can speed up mail um, you can rebuild launch service databases um, re-index spotlight repair disk permissions and verify startup disk um, for these last two you can do in the uh, what's the name of the application in the disk utility app right here which should automatically be in your other folder or your utilities whatever one you called it and but it's just easier because here you can just select everything that you'd like to use so you could do this and then it gives you a little warning that your uh, performance on your Mac might slow down and then um, I'm gonna click OK and then once you click run you uh, your computer will be much faster but in the process of cleaning, of speeding it up, doing this maintenance, it'll also slow down your computer in that in that uh, amount of time that it takes to uh, to speed it up. So once it's done, your computer will be back and it'll be faster than ever. Um, your privacy right here, you can edit all of your, um, you can remove all of your attachments from mail. You can remove all of your iMessages. Um, you can clean up your browser history, your cookies. You can uh, edit. You can clean up your autofill data. You can also see your uh, your extensions for Safari, dictionaries, um, login items. You can see all of those. And one of the coolest things is uh, the shredder. Basically, what it allows you to do is uh, click and drag any. Uh, folder or file into this and it will automatically um, securely erase all of those files so that means it like rewrites all of the it basically encrypts it and then deletes it you can do that natively on the Mac now if you go into your finder here and uh, whoops, sorry you go into your finder go to preferences and then right here if you select this option empty trash securely um, but it's nice to see that it's in Clean My Mac 3. The one thing I uh, would like as a feature is for it to automatically shred files. You should be able to enable it in settings in for Clean My Mac here. That once you do be able to automatically shred all of the files that you delete from the trash bin here. But um, hopefully they just add that in the future because that would be um, a really good feature for me. Um, you can just right click on the file and uh, go to services and then you could just do securely erase with clean my mac and then it just brings you to 
this little window right here but it would just be nice to um, just click smart cleanup right here then when you click scan um, how it cleans up your uh, your trash bin it just does it securely instead of uh, you know just removing it from your computer um, overall this is a really nice application and it's beautiful the only uh, other thing that I have to say about this is that it is really expensive. Um, let me just go see if I can find it. It is like really expensive. I think it's like $39 or something. Let me see. Sorry. Uh, it is, yeah, $39.95 for a single license and then $60 for, uh, for one license that can be used on two Macs. And then eighty nine ninety five for one license that can be used up for up to five max, so it's no uh, you know, it's nothing cheap, but it is worth it to me, only because I'd rather free up a ton of space on my computer than have it slow down and then have to either factory reset my computer to remove everything at once, or you know just go through every single folder that you don't want to use. That you don't use anymore and just deleting everything one by one um yeah overall this is a really good application and i'm uh thankful for macpaw for reaching out to me and allowing me to review this i suggest you guys go buy this if you guys are always downloading things or either always um opening and creating new files that you never use again just so you guys can clean up your hard drive but like I said it is pretty expensive right here I'm just leaving this up here I will leave the link to their website in my in the description of this video so yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video bye